hello guys i am back with another video and as you can see i am at work i am still at work but everyone has gone home and i just decided to sort of like do something quickly because i don't want to go home and forget to film this highly requested video that is how to apply to german universities so without further ado let's get started so we're gonna start with documentation documents what documents do you have to have in order to have a successful application the first one on my list would be having your transcript for any university out there i don't know <laughs> well, from my experience i don't think there's any university that is going to give you admission without seeing like a representation of your grades and your results or the course that you studied and how well you did you know so it is very important for you to have your transcript ready and at hand it makes it easier and it's faster for them to sort of like look at your application quickly against someone who doesn't have like their transcript ready so have your transcript ready that is one document that you should have at hand before you even start approaching any university at all the second um document that you should have at hand i would say is your stat your statement of results or your certificate of your results so it is one thing to have your transcript which shows just like like um your grades only but you need to have a certificate to show that you have actually graduated and you are done with your studies for me i had already my certificate already ready but if you have your statement of results for those who just graduated and are still like fresh out of the university you can also use that as well depending on the university because some universities may require some specific documents every university is different so some universities May, may really want you to have your certificate like full certificate some may, may, may wave it up and want you to just have like your statement of result it may be fine for them then the third thing you should have is proof of language so if you are doing a course that is taught in german you have to have like prove that you know German and that you can understand the course in German. So this is like the Goethe Institute where you can write your Dutch, your language test, and then that is sufficient enough to prove that you can speak German. And most courses will require you to speak at least up to B1. So if you are applying for courses that require you to, to study in German, you have to have a German language certificate to prove it before you even try to put in an application. If you are doing a course that is taught in English, you have to show that you can speak English. It doesn't matter if you're coming from an English speaking country, except you're coming from countries like the UK, the US, Australia, Sweden, and all these like official English speaking countries, then maybe you, will not, you may not have to prove that you can speak English. But if you're coming from places like Africa, India, Asia, most of these places, you would have to show that you can speak English. So the ones that are accepted is IELTS or the IELTS, IELTS <clears throat> sorry, what am I saying? <laughs> IELTS, that's what I call it. I think that's what it's called. So you need to have IELTS. So in terms of grading, that depends on the university too. Some, some universities may require to have a 6.5, some may require 7.5 for me. Um, at the go to get university i was required to show a seven band overall band because i'm doing my master's in english so i need to have a high band so if you're doing some other courses that may not require you to show high level of english then <clears throat> then that's okay like you don't have to show that high but basically i would advise that for you to be like you know whatever level to be at the best level you should just aim to have a high mark that's my own advice. And the fourth thing is doing uni assist to apply. Now I know a lot of people have asked me about uni assist. I didn't use uni assist, so it was, you know, I, your girl didn't use uni assist. So I really don't know what to say about it. But I, I know how it works. I do know how it works. But basically, from what I've read and what I've known about uni assist, that uni assist is like an application body. Oh my God, this one so much so it's like a, it's this weather in germany is crazy one minute it's raining the second minute it is sunny like it was raining five minutes ago i can tell you guys like this is so crazy <sighs> change location i guess 
Okay guys, so I changed the kitchen because the sun was just too much in my face and I hate it when the sun is like literally born in my face. I didn't use any assist during my application. That's to show you that you don't have to use any assist to have a successful application. If you are trying, it's very efficient. If you're trying to like put, like try so many universities and you are trying to sort of like um, have multiple options, I applied to only one i applied to only one university which was a good good again university and that was it that was very risky because what if i can get in but anyways i did and thank god for that so yeah so <clears throat> if you are trying to shoot your shot and trying to try like multiple options then you should use the uni assist because with uni assist you can have like apply to multiple universities at the same time with one document like with one bundle of document and then it just makes it easier for you to see like the courses they are doing in one sh in one in one like search because you're obviously going to do your research for the courses that you want to do and where you want to do it about the city and stuff like that so for me using an uni assist is advisable for for you if you are trying to you know like give yourself better chance chances um yeah so what uni assist does is that it gets your documents all in one place it gives you options for universities that you can apply to and then you upload all your documents onto their system and they evaluate it to know which ones you be successful for and then they send it to the universities on your behalf so it's pretty much it's pretty much more in depth i'm gonna put the link in the description box for you to sort of like go and do more research on it yourself um yeah that's what uni assist does basically i'll put the link in the description box for you to go and do more research on it yourself so now that you have all your documents together let's assume you are not using uni assist because i want to speak from my own experience <clears throat> because i didn't use uni assist for those who want to use <clears throat> sorry my throat for those who want to use uni assist fine and good you can go ahead and use it and it's pretty straightforward it has clear descriptions it has clear terms like steps that you can follow for those who who, who want to apply regularly or just normal without uni assist this is what i did so when i got my documents ready i looked for a school i went on google i searched for schools around i went through all the universities i used the dad website that d double a d and i filtered and looked for the courses that i wanted and then i picked out the times for the application so they like admit i think two times a year here in germany for most universities which is like sometime in the summer and another time in the winter and for for i chose the summer i think i, I applied for the summer session but that was sometime i put in my application in september and then by january i had gotten like a feedback you know on from them that I had gotten into the Gutigen University. See so the first thing I did was I went to the university's website, I went to the course program, I looked at the requirements of the course to see if I match directly with the requirements for the course. Listen guys, German universities are not like the UK universities where if you studied chemistry you could do medicine or you could do I mean actually you could do medicine if you studied my chemistry what am i saying <laughs> scrap that anyways what i was trying to say is if you did a particular course say you did economics and now you want to do fine arts you could totally do that in most uk universities but in germany it doesn't work that way you have to like your first degree has to like sort of tally and match with your second degree very very closely i've had people who got rejected because and sometimes it's even in the same field but it's not sort of like literally the same thing so for me i did my bachelor's in english and now i'm doing my master's in english that is like you know it works so if you did computer science bachelor's degree and now you want to do your master's you probably will be doing master's in computer science that's easier i can tell you that for 100 percent that you will get like a positive feedback in terms of like um, getting accepted in the university when your when your course program directly matches the one you want to sort of like do for those who are going for a bachelor's degree and uh, maybe a 
I don't know, a smaller study or a lesser study. I don't know. I don't want to call it a lesser study because it's not less. It's just like, it's not like a master's degree or a bachelor's degree. Regardless, if you're doing a bachelor's degree, I don't think it's the same thing because it's like a bachelor's degree. Probably they will look at your wire and your nickel to see the courses that you had high score in. Say you are, you had high score in chemistry and physics, and then you may be recommended to do like, um, maybe um, medicine or something, but take notes. Something I wanted to say during the language part is most of the very good curses are in German. So annoying, I know. <clears throat> For instance, medicine, anything in the in the medical field. <clears throat> What's happening with my voice today? Please, you guys to just manage me like that. Anyways, <clears throat> I need to get water. So guys, anything in the medical field is, you know, mostly in German. I have not seen like any medical course that is taught in English. Hardly, I, I doubt it. I don't, I don't even think it's, it, it exists. So in a nutshell, like if you're doing courses that are that intense, like engineering, medicine, nursing, all of these very, very sweet courses, just be prepared that you have to learn German up to at least a B2. B1, at least the B, B1, best B2, C1-ish, and you're good to go. Or you could come in and do like a language course, but I don't want to get into that because I don't know really, I don't know how you should apply for a language course, so I don't want to say something that I don't have any idea of. So back to your application. So yeah, so you get to the courses, you make sure that the courses that you're applying for, you, you're not doing art and you're applying for a science course it's not going to work you're going to get rejected instantly because it has to totally align and then for germany um i think having at least a two two is good you know having a two two and above is good for a successful application and what else also you have to yeah having a two two is good it's okay uh, for most universities, but there are some universities that may require, depending on the course, that you have to have like at least a two one, um, yeah, for a successful application. And then, so the next thing I did was after reading the requirements and checking my documents to see if it closely matched or it was a perfect match for the university, then I put in my application. For most universities, there are no application fees, so I don't remember. I no, I didn't pay any application fees to the Gotegen University. Um, it was totally free. I just sent in all my documents. I uploaded them to the website. Now, for Germany, there are some universities that require that you send your transcripts, especially if you're using Union Assist, hard copy directly to the, directly to, um, what's it called? To Union Assist. You may have to send directly or to the university. Most universities require that you send in all your documents directly to them for evaluation. So you may have to go to the, your university and then you would have to send it to them hard copy. Now that's difficult if you are from Nigeria. <laughs> I don't know about other countries, but Nigerian universities are not trying, especially government universities in terms of like sending your documents over. But I mean, I did it, it was stressful, trust me. It took me two to three, I don't even want to go <clears throat> into that. Thank God that's passed. So now that you have you have checked all your documents and see that they are lie and you've sent in your application, for most universities, because I don't want to speak for every university in Germany, they differ, time time varies. For my own university, like I said, I put in my application in September and it was January to so September, November, December. <clears throat> January 12th, I got like a response from them. So it's basically like two, three to four months. You'll be expecting like a results to know if you are in or out. So don't, it's not like, it's not like the UK that is pretty fast, I know. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't speak for other universities. Some other universities may be faster than the Gotigen University. Anyways, so yeah, so the waiting time is there and then they give you a feedback. If you are in, the next thing is to know is um, semester fees and <clears throat> insurance, all of these things. And if, of course, you're, you're, you have 
like you're in the B, in the category B and you have to wait for one year, unfortunately, you would have to do most of your courses online if the university allows it. For me, I did like my first semester online. Um, I paid my semester fees and that was it. And then I did my, my studies online and then yeah and then the second semester i was still stuck in nigeria because i mean i was waiting but i deferred the semester and i was great the, the school itself was gracious you know and god was gracious to me to allow them to give me like a to defer it i deferred it twice because you know german you know embassy just had to be you know they just had to do their thing <laughs> i don't want to say anything about that so it's pretty much straightforward guys i think that's it like it's not complicated at all and if there's anything that you are confused about during the application process i think it is very easy for you to either email them or ask them questions directly i know that there are some applications that are unique to the individual and sometimes you may need to sort of like um send an email to ask them maybe if this is not or sometimes they are waivers so it, i wouldn't say anything is cast on stone i would advise that if you are stuck on something say for instance you've gotten admission and your visa is not out and so 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 and so the university is saying blah 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 that you know you have to be in the country or something you could email them and explain to them you know and just ask them for more time or ask them to defer your um your admission so like i said nothing is cast on stone for me i did that i emailed them i asked them to defer and they deferred but if i was going to follow like their rigidness i probably would just have you know lost the admission because they were already telling me that if i'm not in the country i cannot continue my studies so yeah so that's it guys for this video if you think i missed anything please i am tired I am tired, but I'm, I don't know in my head, like I have no scripts and nothing I'm saying is scripted or written anywhere. So this is just like my experience. Oh my God, I forgot something. Motivational letter. Ha, ha, ha. It is very important. Most of the universities, all universities require that you write a motivational letter for a successful application. Please do not use ChatGPT. I know. <laughs> Not that you can't use ChatGPT, but I mean, it's just, it's a motivational letter. It has to be personal, you know, it has to be deep, emotional, and, and <clears throat> anyway, just my two cents, I, I would advise that you should use your emotions to write a motivational letter, strong motivational letter, to show that, so that to show your skills, to show your passion for the course, and to show why you want to come and do the course. I think that ChatGPT sort of just makes it very mechanical. During my time, there was no, nothing like ChatGPT. So I was, I used my head to write uh, a very heartfelt motivational letter. I can put my motivational letter for you also in the description box for you to see how my motivational letter was. Not for you to copy and paste, but for you to have an idea or a structure of how, um, a motivational letter or how uh, or how my motivational letter was i know there are people who are better writers i'm not saying like i'm the best so i'm putting it out there for you people to see no that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying that you know just to give you like an idea to help you i know some people like for me if i knew someone that could give me an idea of how to have written it then when i did write it like in 2021 or so 2019 i can't even remember i probably would have you know but since I was successful in getting into the university, I feel that maybe I should share. All this explanation is just to show people that I'm not proud. I'm not trying to tell you that, oh, I'm the best or anything. I'm just trying to let you guys, I mean, I'm just trying to make your application easy for you. And I'm just trying to share what, what works for me. Maybe it may work for you. That's basically it. I am not trying to tell you that I am better at anything. I am not, I am learning and so on. Anyways, so guys, Thank you for watching this video till the very end. Now I would go home and relax. That was not necessary in this video, but I just have to say it anyways. <laughs> 
But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, those are the documents that you need. For a recap, what you need is your transcript, your certificate, a language proficiency, if it's German or English that you're studying in, a motivational letter, and research on the universities that you want to send in your application for multiple applications you can use you should use uni assist but if you want to diy like i did then you should be ready to anyway some universities don't even care they some universities require that you use uni assist you know so for those who don't require that you use uni assist you could just diy with them and just send the application to them directly and that is that in all in all god is god no matter how good we are no matter how bad our documents are i'm not saying you should have a bad document but <clears throat> but i'm saying that at the end of the day god is god it's god that favors it's god that makes it work it's not about our power our mind it's not about effort it's not by being having like a first class or anything there are people who have first class who didn't get in and there are people who have two two or and so on who have gotten in so it is not by power of mind so in everything that you do the fifth and most successful ingredient to having a perfect and successful application is prayer as you're sending in those documents don't forget to pray don't forget to talk to god about it don't forget to you know anoint not literally but you put your hands on your application and say god please just help me be successful on this when you put god in trust me everything is like breezy easy for you so that's it guys for this video i've said that like twice and i didn't end the video anyways i just maybe i just like talking to you guys <laughs> anyways whatever i need to go thank you for watching this video i love you don't forget to subscribe and be a part of this growing family i have so much more to show you in germany i like it's just my studies that it's just you know sort of like taking my time but once i'm free you guys are going to enjoy me because i'm gonna post i'm gonna give you so much content back to back so for now just be managing me with my one or two videos here and there and i would like i would definitely i got your back like i want the best for you guys it gives me so much joy when people like send me instagram messages and dms that they got into germany i am so happy i met one of my youtube subscribers live like he came to my office he was like hey hi and he was like because of you i love god again those are the things that i love to hear you know and i love to see that people are successful so these videos are to help you to have a successful application and to just have an idea of what living in germany is like so don't forget to subscribe share and like. Bye. Love you. See you in the next video. Ciao.